So today's video is all about Ineos training camp, December 2023, what they got up to. Um, I'm going to go through that and then also maybe how you can structure your own training. So I think first things first, this is just the Excel. It shows pretty clearly three days on, th uh, three days on, three days off. Sorry, one day off. Standard stuff. Most pros do this. Sometimes they do four or five, but generally three days on, one day off is, is the good stuff. Um, I kind of color coded it. Yellow is real easy. Orange is like they're doing some stuff. Um, sorry, that's actually the wrong color. Uh, and then there's things like red is, is really hard effort. So this is Connor Swift's numbers. Um, so we'll get into them in a bit. Uh, but yeah, again, so a lot of endurance. You can see like three solid endurance days. Um, some decent intensity, some 20 second sprints. Again, he's going for classics, so not too surprising. We've got some testing days towards the end on Thursday and Friday. We've got a lactate test as well as a 15 minute max, te max test. Um, and also some kind of tempo days as well. So three by 15 here. Uh, and this one had uh, like a 13 minutes kind of tempo spikes. Um, there, I mean, they're quite spiked. 15 seconds was really a sprint. Um, and then 35 minutes of over under is about 380, 360. But yeah, let's just, we'll just go file to file and you'll be able to see what he's been, was up to. So day one, uh, as we said, four hours, just endurance, nothing really to talk about on this ride to be honest. They just did four hours, uh, on the left, you can see kind of like the hardest 10 minutes, five minutes, all very easy. Um, because he's obviously very, very strong. Next day, again, we had some, had some kind of efforts. Again, you can see like 10 minutes, 330, 12 minutes, 380. And then we had some 2040s as well, which is an interesting one, but it seems quite a classic Ineos. They do 2040s at the beginning, 10 minutes at like 3.30. And then again, you'll, you'll see this session again uh, on the lactate testing. For the ons, he's doing where I think about like, well, that one's 7.70. I think some of these other ones were a little bit lower. Uh, yeah, no, about 700-ish. So again, you can see like averaging 420 watts um, for this whole entire climb. Um, again, you can see like, uh, he averaged 380 watts for 20 minutes, normal as 400. So that is like a hard effort. Um, and it's something that's interesting. I haven't really seen people do that before too much. Um, but it kind of does replicate what climbs like. It's pretty hard at the beginning. Um, and then, you know, ride steady and then it's hard again over the top, especially for pros because they really fight for position uh, on going into the downhill. Um, the next day, again, you can see it's just like a standard endurance day. This one seems a little bit harder. Like there seems like some hard efforts here. So I guess they're just like playing around and stuff because this isn't typically what you'd set people. Like there's no set intervals. Again, you can see that's not too hard, but it's actually this last part here. They start going absolutely bananas. Um, so again, it's probably just, it's nothing too serious, but again, it's just basically it's just a standard endurance day. The hours here, I don't think are that crazy. There's no seven hour rides. They're kind of the longest one they did is six hours. Calf spin, 180 watts. Um, yeah. 240 watts on the front and then i guess on the on in the in the wheels 150 watts so again real easy um only 40 minutes standard stuff calf spin never needs to be long if you don't want to pretty sure calf calf stop as well only 40 minutes that is actually well soft i thought they'd be a bit hard on that clearly not uh then we go into the next day of intervals again uh these are some harder intervals so early on We've got some one minute on, one minute off. Peak one minute, I think, was 588, um, which, again, is, is, is decent. It's not crazy. Um, and then he just did some 20-second sprints, uh, and that was basically it. Again, you can see, like, Hari is normally quite a good indication, like this bit here, 320 watts. We've probably just riding on the front, and then on the other dots, you can see, like, here, um, 200 watts, Hari very low. So, again, just easy. Four hours 40, nothing too nothing too crazy, just some, some classic... Uh, kind of short punchy stuff this again is three by 15 um the first one is like easy and then hard the second one i think this is like a team time trial or something this like this is definitely not a standard effort because you can just see the kind of chaos here like it looks like he's riding in the wheels here um but again he does another one here like 380 watts and obviously here is like 70k an hour he's not pedaling but this time he is pedaling because probably he's on the front so again three by 15 380 it's not too hard for him, probably sub-threshold, well, definitely sub-threshold, because you're about to see his 15-minute power, which is crazy. Um, again, just some more endurance rides, look on the left, there's some bits that are hard, this ride seems a bit harder than I thought it was, again, they just seem to smash it on this bit, he did 440 watts for five minutes, but I don't really think it shows much, uh, except the fact that they're just, you know, rolling around, again, standard six-hour ride, so again, sort of what we think to, what, what you expect, um, and yeah, some, some, a harder endurance ride than I would think possible, would think they'd normally do, like 330 watts here, so maybe a bit more of a tempo ride. Um, next day, 
rest day again standard nothing really to speak about and then we've got the last three day block which is actually really hard um so day one of the three day block is just some tempo spikes again we see all that 35 minute over under is 360 380 um you can see heart rate still not getting very high only the 150 so again you can see that this is real easy obviously pros always have low heart rates but it's interesting to see so this is some lactate testing it's really hard to figure out like what numbers you're getting from this because obviously you you want to figure out what lactate there is but they'll be doing um kind of four minute reps and at the top of them uh, or seven minutes it seems um and they'll want to try and fi basically figure out what the lactate is so as soon as they get to the top they'll prick their ear and get the lactate value in and that will tell them then they'll put a graph and figure out what that lt1 is um lt2 the last step he got to was five minutes 550 um so again I, I, that one is the one that's a lot shorter than all the rest of them so i assume um after that one they have got their results at 380 then to finish again the same efforts you can see 2040s with like 10 minutes in between steady riding i think this one actually might only be five minutes steady riding in between each of the ones uh and the last day was um again 10 minutes progressive 30 30s basically a warm-up and then 15 minutes max 482 watts which is really impressive as you saw yesterday 511 watts for the last five minutes again very very strong um so i guess what does this teach you well i think what it shows is that three days on one day off is a really good general principle to have if you construct your time non-week week like i would say three days on one day off is optimal i think it allows decent recovery and it's not too crazy obviously you've got normal weekday it makes sense to do three days and then two days you can do the three days around the weekend um or in the middle of the week i don't think it makes a massive difference it just you know sometimes it's good to to switch it up but i do think doing more than three days uh consistently can can lead some troubles uh next thing i'd say like in the winter they do a decent amount of intensity i think some maintenance stuff like some 2040s and stuff just to make sure that when they do start racing in february january that they are in good condition i don't think that's as essential for amateurs because most people don't actually race for like they have a longer off seasons and their race season doesn't start as much while for pros they really need to keep their aerobic system going quite a lot over winter because often they only stop racing in october and then they start racing in like january february so actually like it's a bit more stressful i think with most amateurs you don't really race until at least in the uk maybe mid-february earlier so you can kind of allow it to go a little bit just because the off season is a bit longer <clears throat> uh otherwise i don't think there's much to really say um again you can see not many of the efforts are really steady most of them are spikes which again i think is pretty standard these days um and obviously 15 minute max is really really strong hours wise again not crazy uh, i think the first week was like 24 hours or something obviously had like two days off the second week would have been a little bit more um in terms of like hours per day it's like this block here is like 14 hours 15 hours sorry which is like a decent one but it's not crazy again this one here a little bit less um and this block really isn't is like 11 well yeah basically like 15 16 hours so not not crazy i'd say um kind of what i'd expect them calf spins yeah not long just standard stuff I mean, obviously, if you if you don't have time, just bin these off. Just basically have a day off. But I, I think sometimes it helps. Maybe the only other real interesting thing is just like when they do their testings towards the end of the week. I don't really know why <clears throat> you do that as much. Maybe they think they're in a better rhythm. But again, that's something to note. Um, I would normally think people could do it when they're a bit more fresh. Um, but you can also see, I think, in general, like on this bit here, harder days to begin with like i'd say this is kind of like how i'd like to approach my training on this block here saturday do your hard effort sunday then just do some tempo and then monday have have some hours as well i think that generally goes well but obviously you can see here again uh easier than harder harder and then this is kind of different just because it's travel day so there's a bit more stuff going on but anyway i hope you did enjoy this quick video uh these are kind of the efforts any of us boys are doing in december uh and i hope you found it useful